anything. I'd like you to meet some old friends of mine. You see, we were at the best party in town, celebrating our big win. And while everyone's attention was on me, my ex-business partner, well, he barges in, and he's jealous of our success, and he throws a drink in my face, but not a drop hit me, because my bodyguard, Jack, he tackled him to the floor, and the others, Riley and Nolan and Parker, well, they made sure he was kept out. But it was my Evelyn who encouraged everyone to just laugh it off. I adored them. Their dedication to me meant everything more than any award. And it ended up being the best night of my life. Yes, Laundra's used to people worshipping him. Gross. Ah, you must be the ones Brennick mentioned. Two more souls chosen to leave our thankless old life behind. Yes, that is us. It's Kiral, right? You were stationed on the Spark? In my former life, yes. Just one more marine bound to a hopeless expedition. Ugh. Enough of that. Hmm? As Walter says, we must forget the past. Our suffering led us here after all. And now, the ascension is almost upon us. This place is such a wonder, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, but it is still nothing compared to what's in the ascension hall. You've been inside? Indeed. I proved my devotion not long before you joined us. Now I wait to be taken to what lies ahead. One step closer to the Ascension. Look, Kiral, we need your help. You said that the Ascension is almost here. Seika and I are trying to prove our devotion as fast as we can. But we're running out of time. We need to get into the Ascension Hall. But, but the only way to learn the words of attainment is to pass your devotion review. Unless you help us out. We're a lot like you. We've suffered so much until now. Storms, shipwrecks, hunter killer machines. We don't want to go back to that. Well, we should all embrace his light. Perhaps even with a helping hand. Okay. It's kind of what Walter said when he sat with us and told us his story about where eternity lies. He thought he had eternity when he traveled the heavens. No, that's not right. Are you sure you're ready for this? Maybe we should continue our studies. Yes. Maybe you should. <sighs> that didn't get us anywhere either. Let's look around. Maybe there's another way. <coughs> oh, this Landra. Oh, this ego. It's a lot. His light is all-knowing. After so much pain and suffering. Was she? Look, I already told you, I can't give you the words of attainment. We're not here to ask about that. Just a few more questions. I... I suppose that would be okay. Seems like most of the clan are more than happy to follow Londra. So why not you? At first, I wanted to believe. 
But everything he told us felt like it filled an emptiness, like maybe I'd finally found somewhere to belong. But then I remembered how the boards back home would tell us to follow the virtues of the legacy, to be good and honest. And then they dragged my father away for speaking out against an imperial decree. I'm not sure it's any different here. Walter might be a living ancestor, but with a cudgel like Zeth to do his bidding, his kindness is just as conditional as the Empire's. As far as anyone at your settlement knows, you went out into the wilds and vanished. How did you end up here? Lon and I were part of a scouting mission to the mainland, but things went bad fast. We were lost and starving, our boat was wrecked, and then Walter found our camp, a living ancestor, emerging from the wilds to tell us we'd been chosen, that we were safe. It was easy to embrace. Everyone here has a similar story. Why didn't anyone send word to us? Not everyone is chosen, but Walter says we must leave our old lives behind if we're going to ascend. Nobody questioned it, but I should have. You said Lon can't wait to see where you're headed next. Do you know what you'll find there? I imagine it'll be another kind of test, like here. But once you've been in the Ascension Hall, you're taken there by Zeth. He and his troops are the only ones who ever come back. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I get the feeling he's not really a friendly guy. <laughs> as friendly as a fireclaw. But it's not just him. The soldiers that follow him are there like that to too. Way to get the I guess they know they can do as they like the place is pretty now big. that they don't answer to the we Admiral for compliance. We'll be going. Be careful. If you think I'll just give you the words of attainment... What if we just wanted to ask something else? Then I suppose it's all right. What do you want to know? You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting up to speed, but... I thought the Ascension Hall was where we needed to go. You're not the first to fail to grasp Walter's plan for us. Now that I've seen what's in the hall, my rank is secure. But there is something more that he's offering us. I just know it. It has to be why the devoted are escorted to another place. And as soon as Zeth returns, he'll take me there. I'm ready. Do you have any idea where this place is, exactly? Somewhere that brings us closer to Walter. To his embrace. So you've been inside the Ascension Hall. Is it as special as we think it is? I shouldn't say. I wouldn't want to deny you the same experience I had. Come on, Kiral. Just a hint? We're dying to know what's inside. I'll tell you this. It's... breathtaking. Like the moment Walter first appeared before our boat, but better. Prove your devotion, and you'll see. Well, thanks for talking with us, Kiral. We should get back to learning about Walter. Yes, of course. Good luck with your studies. I hope to see you at the Ascension.
Let's get out of here. I already told you. No one's getting past me without the words of attainment. Oh, we know the words, Seika. Oh, no. You should have the honor, Aloy. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. No one's ever passed their devotion review so quickly. Well, we did, so will you get out of the way now? I don't know how much more of Londra I can take. Yeah, let's see what he's really up to. All this time, they didn't even want to be found. We don't know if they all feel that way. Yeah. Sure. Something on your mind? Nothing. The Ascension Hall better have answers. That's all. An elevator. Let's see where it leads. Pancha's really building up the suspense. Must be quite a spectacle up there. Ancestors. That's how they'll ascend. I'm just building a spaceship, all right. We better take a closer look. The clouds. They're not real. It's all an illusion. for now, but I'd better check out the ship. Okay. Tell me what you find. Storage. Elantra's followers? That can't be enough space for all of them. And MSP again. What does that mean? Elantra's got the Horus's printer working again. To build the ship. The work is the source of the radiation. That's why he grabbed data from that old prototype in his headquarters. It must be how I'll get the lift he needs. I have seen enough. I don't like that look. What did you find? The Horus. It has a... a special component. One that can make almost anything you can imagine. Parts, tools, even entire machines. Londra has rigged it to build what he needs for his ship. But in order for the ship to leave, it needs a ton of power. Way more than what Londra could achieve with what he had. So he went looking for something from his old company. Exactly. Part of the data he got was for a blueprint. For a kind of... boost. One that's as toxic as it gets. If this ship gets airborne, it'll spread a poison from here to every tribal land in the region. Everyone will get sick and die. There's still something I don't get. Why would Landra do all of this just to get off this world? Oh, this again! Sake. You're still not telling me everything. My people are the ones that are caught up in all this. My sister. I deserve to know. You're right. I will tell you 
It just won't be. Guess our time's up. Blind filth! Oh, this must be our friend Zeth. Spread out. Reinforcements will follow. Time to put you down! Never seen a cannon like that before. I guess Londra gave him a new toy. How do we even get out of here? Seth got this whole place on lockdown. Let's see a way to shut it off. Two more nodes. I gotta keep looking. What do you think you're doing? No way up there. Gotta disable the lockdown.
there's something off about them. But for now, we focus on Zeth. Come on! Face me! Come on out, Zeth! Here we go! I'll enjoy crushing you both! Nice to meet you, too. Taking the rest of our people. Answer her question. He takes the devoted to his park on the southern peninsula. But you'll never reach it. The tower there is positioned to ward off any approach. And my sister is there? She was in the final group. I'm not supposed to bring any more over, but Walter promised the ascension to everyone who proves themselves. I don't understand. Londra's been using you to get what he wants. Let's face it, you're an easy mark. Too blinded by your own ego to see the truth. Well, you just slipped his world upside down. Just give me a straight answer. Why does Landra want to leave? <sighs> Something is coming to Earth. It destroyed the world that Landra fled, and it wants to do the same thing here. Destroy the world? What could possibly do that? It's called Nemesis. It's like a machine, sort of. But it's more powerful than anything you or I have ever faced. That's why Landra's building the ship. He's doing everything in his power to leave before it gets here. And I guess he wants to take some coin with him too. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but there's still hope. If you say so.
Seika. There's a beach on the southeast coast of the island where we took down the first tower. That's probably the closest we'll get to Londres Park. And I should probably report back to the Admiral. Tell him something about what we found here. Okay. I'll meet you at the beach then. That was bad. That was, that was really bad. Seika, she seemed so... lost. Why do I feel like that too? How do I fix this? For now, I'd better take a look at that Zenith weapon. I think I can turn this into something I can use. There. I should test it out when I get back outside. Better check on the rest of the Quinn on my way out too. to irradiate thousands so long as he survives. Sika and I have to find a way to stop him. Once I make things right with her. Walter has abandoned us! I guess Brennick spread the word to the rest of the people here. That Laundra doesn't care about them. They must be pretty confused. like the Quinn have some thinking to do. I hope they figure it out and head back to Fleet's End. But I gotta meet up with Seika, talk things out with her, make sure we're okay. 